Hello and welcome to today's first ever micro webinar, Insurance Marketing and Lead Gen Tactics for Q4. This web seminar is brought to you by Startup Selling with special guest speaker Alan Bloom, the CEO and founder of Startup Selling. Alan has an extensive background in marketing and has been working with insurance agencies to improve marketing and lead gen for over a decade. With that, Alan, the floor is yours. Thank you, and these concise micro-webinars are great to get key information in just a few minutes. So let's dive right into it and talk about the important elements, what has to be done for effective lead generation campaigns. Some of these things may seem intuitively obvious, but are yet challenging or elusive to get to. So it all begins, of course, with a great prospect list. And that involves two different things. It involves opt-in and can spam, which a lot of agencies get confused about. We'll talk about that in a minute. But an ideal prospect list, let's say you're a trucking organization. There's a lot of great lists out there, and there's a little process that has, that has to be done. You have to determine your region, your size, your uh, ideal uh, titles, uh, the type of, of fleets you're going after or owner operators. You have to grab that list. You have to scrub out your clients, scrub out your hot prospects, and then here is my list. There's two ways of doing that. And that's the same whether you're a trucking, by the way, property and casualty, or benefits. Now, there's, there's two, two ways of doing this. One, you could do it once and have that list live for a year. There's a very good element of that. Uh, you don't have to do any work every month. Uh, and you do it once, and there's no work that has to be done for the next 11 months. Or you can download monthly and say, every month, I want the freshest, most recent information. There's many services that offer that. Download the list, you still have to scrub it, but it's a much smaller list, one twelfth of your prospects, so to speak, and then put those into your uh, warming pool, your, your drip campaigns, which we're going to talk about in a second. So if you have a list altogether, that would be essentially every prospect you want to target, um, if, preferably with emails or as many emails as possible, great, you have a foundation, now what? So let's go to the next part, the next aspect of this. Well, now you craft, you create your unique message. Well, that certainly sounds easy, easy to do, except when we talk with insurance agents and brokers, we find the same thing all the time. They're, they're not, they don't have a unique message. They don't have their elevator pitch done. They don't have their value proposition done. They don't have their value proposition on their website. And it can't be, we'll save you money on your insurance. So you have to craft, you have to create that message. And think of it this way. If you were going to email someone a message, or if you were going to give them a pitch over the phone, those are going to be relatively concise. What would you say, and you get a short amount of real estate to do so? On the phone, 30 seconds, 60 is long. In an email, you might get six sentences, eight sentences, two short paragraphs. So think of your message and what is it that you want to say about yourself. Uh, for example, we focus on small group benefits. We focus on companies between 5 and 50, which have get much, much less attention, uh, don't have to worry as much, much about ACA compliance, but still have all different types of reporting that they're concerned with. Uh, they, filings, reportings, part-time versus full-time employees, COBRA requirements, etc. And here's how we help them with our unique and innovative strategy for that group. Or you might be handling larger groups. We work with groups between 100 and 500, and we are extremely proficient. And we have weekly tele, uh, tele, um, te teleconferences or monthly webinars, or perhaps you have a newsletter, or here's our blog with all the great information. Or, for example, you might be PNC or trucking. You might focus on cyber liability. You might focus for, for, for trucking. You've been doing trucking for 50 years, and you know it better than anyone, and you deal with everything from small fleets to owner-operators. What is your message? Craft it, live it, vet it, and then say, how am I going to deliver it? So, great list, great message. Now we need execution. We need a methodology for drip campaigns. And I want you to think of this today in a different way than you may have normally thought about it. Drip campaigns aren't just about e-marketing drip campaigns. Drip campaigns cover all aspects of your warming pool. 
So that means you want to reach out and touch people in different ways. Ideally, you're dripping on them with email marketing once or twice a month. You're dripping on them with phone calls on top of that or in lieu of that, or if the budget can withstand or you have the resources, both of those, and you are reaching out to these people to find them when the opportunity is ripe. You want, when there's a crack in the foundation, there's water leaking in, that's the time that you want to be having a discussion with them. If you're reaching out to them <clears throat> consistently with uh, uh, telemarketing calls, especially warm calls, if you're reaching out with them uh, to them consistently with e-marketing. If you're also reaching out to them through social media, there's three ways now you could touch that prospect so that when a time comes that they're going to make a change, it's going to be with your agency. So I mentioned appointment setting calls with the drip campaign. Let's talk about that for a second. So an email marketing drip campaign is very powerful, but people aren't going to be knocking your door down to say, oh, I'm dying to talk to you. Come sell me insurance. Most of the time, it's an interaction that results in a great sales opportunity for producers. And you all know that on the line today. It's about you speaking with a prospect at a good moment in time with your unique value proposition, getting them comfortable that you are the person who can help them, and then bringing them aboard as a new client, as a new business, expanding your book. So, appointment setting calls, well, why don't you just do them, for crying out loud? How hard is it to pick up the phone? Well, the issue is, most people don't like it in the first place, and most people can't do it consistently in the second place, and most, most people don't have a good methodology to track and monitor the results in the third place. So, what we find with appointment setting calls, either an agency should hire their own telemarketer, there's challenges with that, or outsource it to, to a proficient organization like Startup Selling or someone else, and you want somebody dialing that phone 20 times an hour, you know, five hours a day, that's 100 calls times five days, 500 calls, 25,000 calls a year, you're going to touch everyone, depending on the size of your market and the size of the budget or perhaps in your own resources, you want that done. That's the way to cast a broad net to find those ripe opportunities that you want to close and be there at the table when they're thinking about making a change. So think drip campaigns, think appointment setting calls, think social media, and then this all culminates in this simple pithy phrase, tools, time, talent. Do you have the tools, and if you do, do you have the time, and if you do, do you have the talent to execute on those tools? So we find there are some agencies that have it all. They have sufficient resources. They might be larger. They have a marketing staff or, or a, a marketing manager who can do it all. He or she can do it all, and they spend the money to get a really good marketing manager, and, and they, they buy all the tools that they need to use, and they bring them in-house. That's one way to accomplish it. A less likely way to accomplish it is to say, well, my producers are going to do that part-time. That doesn't seem to work well. Historically, we have not seen that model produce good and consistent results. The producers, they're busy. They also tend to be people people. They'd rather be talking to people. They'd rather be visiting, being out, be out there closing, uh, closing new prospects, working on upselling and cross-selling existing clients, and so on. So what we find is look at your internal tools, time, and talent. Do you have a great tool for e-marketing? Do you have the time to do outbound calling, follow-up appointment setting calls? Do you have the talent to do either? Can you do consistent social media marketing? That's one thing, by the way, out of all the things we talked about, I'd say, you know, you could probably get your producers to, to do somewhat of a decent job on social media marketing if you kind of point them in the right direction, or independent agents might be able to do it on their own in their spare time. Uh, but when it comes to the other things, the drip campaigns, we find they fall short. Now, what is it that you drip on them? We go back to our message, you drip a blog. You drip a newsletter, which could be a series of blogs. You offer a, an educational webinar, not a sales webinar, an educational webinar. You offer 
compliance bulletins or updates, you offer CSA regulation change information, you bring forth a, uh, an, uh, an interesting educational speaker who's a consultant, whether it be your accountant, uh, an attorney, um, a, a, you know, business planning, improved modeling, predictive analytics for driver retention, whatever it happens to be, you bring that and carry that message out to your ideal prospects. So these are micro webinars. It's the information, the hard hitting information in 15 minutes or less. I see we're at 11. This contact information, if you'd like additional information, if you'd like to know how can I accomplish this, what's the cost to outsource it, is it feasible for me to outsource it, can I do it internally, we always offer complimentary reviews. If you'd like additional information, you can call John Scranton at the number below. Our website is has a tremendous amount of information, thousands of blog articles, hundreds of articles on insurance marketing. We encourage you to, to go there. There's no cost for those. And um, we thank you so much for all the people who attended today. With that, this web seminar is now ending, and we hope you all have a great day.